All right, another day in Brooklyn. I am now heading towards Canarsie down Flatlands Avenue. There's the former, uh, what was that? The Glen, Glen Terrace? I forget. Glen something. All right, I'm on Flatlands just out of Canarsie. All right, sort of where Blockbuster used to be. Go on the corner of 58th and Flatlands. I'm stuck behind the ambulance and the truck, so it's hard to get any kind of a. There we go. Get out of the loop. The sale sign there. It's funny, I noticed listening to my other video that when I'm in Brooklyn, my Canarsie accent is that much more multiplied. So. I don't know if I can refrain from doing that while in Brooklyn, but when I'm in Long Island or at my work speaking to my clients, I speak way more properly. So I will revert back to my Brooklynese Canarsian, Canarsian-ese momentarily as I cross Ralph Avenue and start speaking like I'm in Brooklyn. So this light is forever. So correctly, you would say it would be forever. In Brooklyn, it's forever. All right, I'm moving, and we're coming back in the car so you don't hear the wind like the other video. All right, what's over here? It was Captain Video, I think, was here. All right, there's the Arch Diner. Still around. Seems to be doing well. Another long light, so I'll show you this place. Arch Diner. Across the street, the Dragon Eddy Florist and Garden Center. A fellow Canarsian family, the Dragon Eddies. Alright, shooting around here. South Shore is up on my left, coming up. This bank, the HSBC, I also believe, was a Metropolitan Savings Bank, like the one on Seaview and Rockaway back in the day. Alright, here we go. Light turned green. Let's go. Alright, I'll try and get South Shore for you guys. Even though it's literally not called South Shore anymore. It's another multi-school like Canarsie High School is now as well. There's South Shore. Still says South Shore High School. Okay, right there, all of my friends who used to attend South Shore used to go to Burger King, which is now located in the spot of a McDonald's. I know when we used to cut out from Canarsie High School to come here, we used to go to the Burger King as well. So that was a nice little walk or drive, I don't remember. All right, I'm now in Canarsie on Flatlands, head heading east into the neighborhood there's the field house south shore vikings all right here we go i'm literally maybe just go up two or three avenues and i'm done all right right aid this is where carvel was across the street wendy's which is roy rogers here's all the stores my boy greg had realist was over here Snow White Clans is still open. I'm not going to that side. I'm sticking to this side. Flatlands in 81st. Builder C's on my right. I'm not going against there. I'm not shooting that because it's just a schoolyard. All right, here we go. All the stores on Flatlands. Dolphin Transmission. That was here back in the day, I believe. I don't remember that big fence, though. Okay, this was... Uh, Pat Rich Milk Farms. I don't know what it is now. The liquor store still open. There's a realty place. It's new. All right, heading on 88th and flat. All right, change lanes. 89th and Flatlands. Just going out to you, Roseanne, Sal, and Mike Bologna. There's your house. Alright, Remsen and Flatlands, y'all. I don't know why I said y'all. We didn't talk like that in Brooklyn. 
All right, let's see what's over here. This is on the corner of Flatlands and Remsen Avenue. Waiting for another long light. It's another thing I do not miss about Brooklyn. The lights and the no turning them reds. Definitely not my favorite. All right, green light. I'm gonna go Flatlands a little bit. I'm spontaneously thinking where I'm going to turn. Should I pass Guarino? No, there's nothing there. I'm going to turn down 91st and probably go up the L because I know people like to see Avenue L. Here we go. 91st heading south from Flatlands towards J. This is mid Canarsie. Since I ignored this area the other day when I did my TV Village tour, I figure I'll give you a little bit of mid Canarsie today. Okay, Avenue J and 91st, East 91st Street. Here we go. This looks like, uh, I don't remember when these houses went up. Obviously they're not brand new. All right, cruising down. Just showing you the sights. 91st and Avenue K. Avenue L, the heart of Canarsie. It has drastically changed the type of stores that are here. And a lot are closed. But it's still Avenue L and it has the feel of Avenue L. Right here is an old fire alarm pole, which is no longer in working condition. All right. I think there was a Chinese restaurant here. I forgot what it was called. But let's see. This light, this fire thing is actually pretty cool. I wonder if they sell them. I would buy that. Alright, let's get you a little bit of the neighborhood. Remsen is over there. Can't really see it. In front of me is 115. I'm not going up that block. I'm going to make a left on Avenue L. Here we go. I'll try and go a little slow here because I know people like seeing it you well. All right. Auto body shop. I mean, auto shop over here. We'll see it back then. Probably different name. A whole bunch of weird different stores that were not here. There's a Baptist Bethesda Church, Deliverance Tabernacle, ENR Deli, and there's where the Canasi Theater was. Checked it out. Who would have thought? All right, over here is former Kenny's, which was Big John's afterwards, which is now closed. Over here was Remsen Car Service, which is now Fillmore. Dairy Queen was over here somewhere with Domino's Pizza. All right, let's see over here. Jack and Frank's uh, Barbershop is still open. Right there. Check them out. I would, if I needed a haircut, I might go in, but I don't. Okay, across the street, the former Eldoro, which is now First Haitian Baptist Church of Canarsie. Sunshine Scissors was there when we were young. One of the originals. All right, let's see what was on this block. We had Warren and Marty's on this block. We had Seaview Jewelers on this block. Uh, the Ambiance Caribbean Restaurant, there was another entrance to Eldoro. That was the cocktail room. All right, let's see, back on this side. Another church. Marty's Pharmacy, still kicking. All right, let's see. There was a bar here for a while, I forgot what it was called. All right, that was a Mandy shop, or Nanny Says. Okay, let's see, back on this side. Bonafide, Bonafide Opticians, still around. They had one in Fresh Pond Road as well, in Ridgewood, it's probably still there. 
All right, coming up to Originals Pizza. Originals Pizza, which I know many of you come to regularly still. All right, the Canarsie Animal Hospital, which was, I brought my pets. Dr. Shaken, I believe his name. Shaken, Shaken. Also having a party. Larry should be in there. It's a bagel store. Definitely not kosher. Law offices. There's cars behind me, so I'm just taking my time here. Alright, here we go. Kevelson across the street there is now a church. Alright, over here also. Another church. Word of Flame Tabernacle. That was Save on Milk. What was over here? Charlene Shoes. Bernardo's is still here. Check it out, Bernardo's. Across the street, that Brooks Tubs was a fish star. It was a fish star. Over here, oh, it still says Talmud Torah. Kevelson, I guess they can't climb that high to take it down. Interesting. All right, not just books and the florist were over there. Town florist, the sign is still up. You can see it. Not just books. On the corner was a bank. It's now Contemporary Eye. All right, Chase is over here, which is here for a while. At least Bernard's is still here. He's nice. All right, let's see. I'm just waiting around for the cars to leave around me. Once again, pointing south on Avenue L. I mean, that would be west on Avenue L. See some of the activity going on in the neighborhood. Still a busy place. The old not just books area. All right, he has Rockaway and L. I'm turning right. That medical place is still open. All right, there's that Burger King that opened when I was in seventh grade, which would be 1978. This Burger King opened. It's they shrunk it down a little. All right, my dentist was here, Doctor. Kimmel, I believe, right down over here. All right, here's the 24-hour deli or newsstand, whatever you want to call it. Over there was the former Grabstein's. Something wan now, I can't see it. Long wan. Okay, interesting name. All right, now over here, I'm going to pull over. L.H. Martin was here. Royal Video, and of course, Wallbounds, which is now Golden Mango. My hair cutter was here. There was a Hallmark store here. John Anthony was there. Pulling over. Okay, right on my other side, Temple Emmanuel of Canarsie, still open. Let's see. Okay, no one's behind me. I can pull out. I'll give you another shot of the parking lot. I remember in one of the blizzards of the 70s, the late 70s, they took all the snow and piled it in there, and there was like mountains 75, 80 feet tall that we climbed of snow and slid down. That was cool. All right. Not much on this block. It's houses. All right, Avenue N, there's Jerry, this old uh, hair cutting place. All right, I'm pulling over. Here we go. We had uh, Sneaker Circus was over here. And there's another church across the street. You have the former, the Lopez Beauty Salon is former La Park, former Bamboo Lounge. As many of you know, there's a big history to that place. All I'll mention about it is that it was a a big part of the movie Goodfellas. The rest, you must do your own research. All right, Canarsie Barbershop, which I never went to when I lived in Canarsie. All right, here we go. 
heading down Rockaway. All right, here we go. All the stores, Royal Music, still open, but missing the Y. They have a location here and on Sunrise Highway in Merrick. Very helpful guys. I go there quite often. Well, when I used to live in Merrick anyway. Haven't been there in a while. All right, over here, the Crossland sign is still up on the old drive through It was Crossland for many years after it became Metropolitan. All right, let's pull around. All right, this is the same intersection that was at the other day. Rockaway and Seaview, so I'm not going to film it again. All right, everyone. I hope you enjoyed my next tour of Canarsie. And uh, next time I'm in Brooklyn on a nice day and I have 20 minutes to kill, I will shoot more. All right, have a great day. Bye.